Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Principal Kwan's gonna be in the hospital till over the weekend. Is he gonna be all right? He's got some burns and suffered smoke inhalation, but he's gonna be okay. Anybody see you, son? Nobody saw me, Dad. I told the paramedics that I wrapped my hands in my jacket when I pulled them out. Lucky you were there. Well, I kind of missed my ride. <laughs> Look, I saw you play, all right? Now, you could have easily hurt any one of those boys. But the point is, I didn't. Look, why are we even having this conversation? He's never going to believe me. By the way, coach gave me your old position. You're looking at the starting tailback for this Friday's game. Don't everyone congratulate me at once. How did he get to be so stubborn? Gee, I don't know. Hey, wait a minute. I was not like that when I was his age. No, you were the obedient son who always obeyed his father and didn't run away one summer and try out for the Metropolis Sharks. Since when did you go and join the other side? Jonathan, Clark hasn't been able to do anything normal his whole life. No play groups, no Little League, all because we were afraid he might hurt somebody. He's a teenager now. Let's give him a shot. His gifts come with responsibilities. This isn't about his gifts. It's about his judgment. You're telling Clark that you don't believe in him. <laughs> of course I believe in him. <laughs> what, what, what if he makes a mistake and somebody suspects the truth? I do not want anyone coming on this farm and taking our son away from us. Well, if we don't start trusting him, nobody's going to have to take him away. He's going to leave all by himself. <laughs> <laughs>